how can you recover from an eating disorder or any sort of eating issue in a world that's obsessed with dieting? Hello, my name is Stephanie. I'm a therapist on Long Island, New York that specializes in the treatment of eating disorders and body image issues. If you like this video at the end, please give it a thumbs up. I would appreciate it. And if you're interested in learning more about eating disorders, eating issues, body image issues, general mental health and well-being, and therapeutic tools, please subscribe to my channel. I will be posting every Sunday, Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday. Today I wanted to talk about how recovery from an eating disorder um, may be difficult for the world that we're living in and living in the same world that we're living in that's obsessed with dieting and restricting and there's uh, seven new diets every single day um, and that's probably really severely underestimating. There's several million diets that are just developing left and right um, that claim to have hacked the human race and they finally found you know a diet that has hacked our bodies. Meanwhile our bodies have been around for a very 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 long time so there's nothing that's going to be new that develops that all of a sudden is um, you know the answer to the human body so let's just put that forward right now and here right here and now let's just talk about society in general we are inundated with messages constantly about dieting or how uh, we're being sold a certain body type as being attractive or even the shows that we're watching um, the people there are obsessed with um, you know dieting or eating certain foods that are perceived as good foods uh, exercising way more than a person really can or should um, in their life there's just so many messages just in that but then we have all these commercials and ads and um, you know trucks driving by with like the this picture of uh, what we deem as a societal perfection and happiness and this diet's going to do that for you or this diet supplement's going to do this for you. We're constantly being inundated with all this type of stuff. So how do we deal with that? Let's just take it off of society for a second and look at inside of our very household. Many people, almost, I don't want to say almost all, but a lot of people have this mentality, share this mentality with society because it has been being sold to us since we were born. We have been constantly, constantly inundated with this, these types of messages. So you can only expect that most people do share this same mentality. So it becomes even more difficult when you are in the household with someone who has this mentality and is very diet obsessed and doesn't really understand eating disorders. Because typically when someone is um, very into dieting and such like that, they don't see the world from the perspective of an eating disorder or from the perspective of um, you know everything that's underlying that an eating disorder and um, the whole diet mentality. They see that this is the answer, this is a simple answer to my problem, which is my problem is I want to lose weight, this is the answer, this is how it's going to get me there, and I'm just going to ignore all the facts that it doesn't really, dieting really isn't sustainable. What is it like living with someone who shares this type of mentality and is constantly dieting and talking about diets because people seem to like to talk about their diets rather than just do it on their own. Um, so they're talking about this constantly, saying uh, out loud how this is a good food, this is allowed, this is a bad food, this isn't allowed, um, I have to make it to the gym, I, I can't talk to you right now, I have to go to the gym, oh, I'll be home in an hour because I have to stay there at least 45 minutes. All these types of things, we're constantly hearing it more than likely if you're in a household with someone who is focusing on dieting. So what is that like when you are struggling with an eating disorder or struggling in eating disorder recovery? It is incredibly difficult because at any given moment, your eating disorder is there and ready to go. It's wanting to take any type of evidence that's saying that your eating disorder is the answer to make it flourish. So let's say you're sitting down and eating dinner and then you're here and you're, you have your balanced dinner that your nutritionist recommends um, and whatever that is. Um, and then you hear your mom or your sister saying, oh, I'm just going to eat this because this is going to be helping me lose weight. Your eating disorder hears that and your eating disorder wants to take that and run with it. And then you're probably thinking, 
okay, um, maybe I shouldn't be eating this much. Maybe my nutritionist doesn't really know that I'm fat um, because that's the mentality of an eating disorder. And if my sister can do this, why can't I do it? And all these types of questions and thoughts and it's just a whole rigmarole of thoughts and concerns in your head, but that is your eating disorder. So diet mentality is a very slippery slope for someone who has an eating disorder. When you hear those types of messages, it supports the eating disorder and the eating disorder wants to come out and win. It wants to be overpowering your healthy self because that means that it's winning and that it's getting what it wants. And I know I'm talking about an eating disorder as though it's a separate entity and I talk more about this in another video. I'll leave a link in the description below for that video. Um, basically, the eating disorder self versus the healthy self is what so now that I talked about the problem, society and um, the diet mentality and that you might be experiencing that within your own house, what is the solution? Because we don't want to have a problem without a solution, right? So the solution is arming yourself as much as you can with the truth, with things that are in favor of your recovery. So what does that look like? One, I'm hoping that if you are in recovery, you already have an eating disorder therapist and an eating disorder uh, nutritionist on your treatment team. So what's going to really help you is to make sure that you are constantly talking to them about what your concerns are. Inviting, if it's in the household, inviting that family member in um, because more than likely I'm sure that they love you and they want to support you. They just don't understand um, because it is very difficult to understand if you've never been through an eating disorder. Uh, so inviting them in to speak with your therapist or to speak with your nutritionist alongside you so that at least they can hear what could be more helpful for you and what to hopefully try to avoid um, when they're with you so that it doesn't uh, hurt your eating disorder or make your eating disorder spiral again uh, into control. Uh, so having a, that type of support is going to be really helpful for you. But also keep in mind that if you're in recovery from an eating disorder, you're probably not seeing your therapist for more than you know 45 or 90 minutes a week. You're probably not seeing your nutritionist for more than like a half an hour, maybe an hour a week. So that's a whole lot of time for your eating disorder to try to thrive. So what's really important is for you to constantly be working at treatment outside of treatment so outside of your sessions to hopefully either have some sort of homework assignment that your therapist assigns you journaling or constantly keeping up with your coping skills your positive adaptive coping skills but also i typically recommend you know finding there's so many great resources online of course this is very slippery so it's very important to be picky about this but there are a lot of great blogs a lot of great um things on youtube my channel, just saying, uh, to help to arm you with the truth and arm you with things that are going to be beneficial for your recovery. Um, so when you start to question, or when your eating disorder starts to question what you're doing, to go and look at a, up a podcast that's going to talk more about recovery and dealing with that, or a blog, or a YouTube video, um, or whatever that is for you, uh, a book. And I would recommend to, to share whatever you're looking at, whatever person you're following or whatever information you're looking at with your therapist or your nutritionist, uh, depending on if it's more food related or more um, mental health oriented, to share it with them. And make sure that they also believe that this is a positive thing for you. Um, just because sometimes on the internet, there are things that are talking more about recovery and it's not necessarily very recovery oriented. It's just kind of another form of an eating disorder taken on. So there's a lot of information out there that can be very slippery. So if you think that you found someone, um, ask your therapist or ask your nutritionist what their thoughts are. Um, and even ask them if they have any blogs or podcasts or something to recommend so that you have something in the meantime between the sessions to continue reminding yourself of recovery, continuing to remind yourself of what's going to be helpful for you. So um, I hope that you found this video helpful. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. If you like this channel, if you're interested in learning more, please subscribe to it. I will be posting, I think I said this earlier, but I will be posting every Sunday, Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday. I also have a blog that talks more about all this type of information. I will leave a description in the link below for that. Um, I want to hear your thoughts on this idea. And if you had any struggles with this, um, leave it in the comments below so that I can also keep, um, create content that caters to the specific struggles that um, people are dealing with. 
and then what they want to learn more about uh, and also I just want to put out there I will be making videos throughout the holiday season yes it's this time of year already I'm super excited I've been ready for it for a while so um, it's this time of year it's the holiday season I know that this creates a lot of tension a lot of anxiety a lot of negative things for people who are struggling with eating disorders and eating issues I will be here with you so leave comments down below about what you want to hear about and I will promise you that I will do my best to make videos creating or uh, creating videos surrounding uh, about those topics that could be helpful for you. So leave a comment and I hope to see you in my next video. Have a great day. Bye.